Hi, this is Will from Richter. Today we've got another install video on this Audi Q3 here. We're going to be fitting a set of factory front parking sensors along with a factory reversing camera. So we're going to jump into the install, give you a little rundown on what we're going to be doing to the car and how, at the end we'll show you how it all works on the display of the screens. So to begin with, we're going to fit the factory front sensors. To start off this job, we have to remove the front bumper. Right, so now we've got the bumper off. This particular car is an S-Line. So the main difference here on the S-Line, you get four dummy blank sensors. If this vehicle is an SE, you'd only get the two blanks in the middle. So now we just got to pop all the blanks out and put the real sensors in. So now we've got the dummy sensors out, they can just go straight in the bin. So now we've got our cables to plug into our sensors here. So we'll get this bit here done now and then we can run the rest of the loom off into the car. So here in my hand now is the loom which runs the parking sensors into the cabin of the vehicle. So we've got a female plug here, male plug here, which we need to get off into the vehicle. And to do so, we run it down the driver's side of the car down under the headlight so we can plug it into the bumper. Right, so now we've got the scuttle and wipers all off. We've got to then get this plug now through into the car. To do so, we've got to strip the plug down and this is how we do it. So now we've got the front bump and the scuttle panel back on. We're now getting into the car. This is where now we're going to strip the end panel of the dash and all the driver's um, column, lower column of the dashboard. Behind here is where we'll find the original rear parking module, but we're gonna be fitting the front one now and then plugging our wires in. We'll also be fitting up the buzzer so you can have the tone for when you're parking. And we'll be changing the switch panel over here in the center console. So now we've got the front sensors all finished off here. Really all it needs to do now is the coding. But what we're gonna do now, as we're also fitting the rear camera, we'll get that fitted up at the same time and do all the coding in one hit on this vehicle.
So we've now got the back end of the car back built up. So the rear camera's in, all the wires now around here, down towards the front of the vehicle. So now we're gonna do a bit of work here with the glove box. We're gonna pull some parts out, add all the wires in, and then we can get on with the coding of the vehicle. So now the front sensors and the rear cameras all fitted into this vehicle. All we've got to do now is use this laptop here to do some coding and then we'll get it all working on the factory screen. Right, so we've just now finished coding this Audi Q3 for its factory front sensors and factory reversing camera we've just fitted. So we've got the screen here. We've just done a hard reset of the unit after doing all the coding. We will first off test the device by pressing the part button down here. It illuminates the part button and displays the screen as it should be. When you knock the handbrake off, now you'll start getting grid lines. So when you're going forward, you've got forward motion grid lines, which work with the steering for the front sensors and reverse goes to the rear of the car. And we've got our moving grid lines for the reversing camera as well. You can physically switch it off via the parking button, as well as it will automatically switch on as you go into reverse and the front sensors will automatically activate when they pick up on any walls or any objects in front of you when you're driving forward. So I hope you enjoyed this video today on our installs here at Richter Automotive. If you have any questions or inquiries about fitting for your own vehicle, being any VAG model, please get in contact with us via either email or telephone or have a look on our website.